Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be talking about the microservices architecture of Netflix. So Netflix is built upon uh, multiple independent mic microservices talking to each other. Uh, suppose there is a video storage service and there is a transcoding service. Both of them are coded independently and they work independently of each other. They might depend if required or um, if not required. Like this is an example where one microservice is dependent on the other and the rest of them can work all by themselves without any, any dependency on any other microservice. Now, uh, how do we make this uh, microservice architecture reliable? Uh, one up, one, these are the three approaches. First being the usage of hysterics library. So I have I have another video. I will link in this in the description that the hysterics library, which basically is a library which takes care of um, maintaining multiple uh, microservices, takes care of any delays from any microservice and fault tolerance uh, adds fault tolerance logic so you can watch that video for hysterics second is separating critical microservices so what happens is uh, <coughs> there are certain set of microservices which can be categorized as critical and certain set of microservices which are not critical we can have uh, we can separate the critical microservices so that in worst case scenario at least those services are working um, they can be called reliable services. So suppose like uh, searching a video on Netflix or um, playing a video. These are the services which can be put under reliable services and they will always work. And rest of them can be uh, put as non-critical microservices. So that way we can make the system more reliable. Third approach is to treat servers as stateless. What I mean by that is if a microservice is not able to return the response in a timely manner or there is some exception uh, uh, that occurred in in the in that in one particular microservice there could be another uh, node which can be uh, we can spin off another node and that will take care of running the same microservice but on a different server so basically we don't st save the state on a server so that way we make the system more reliable and robust in case of microservice architecture i hope this is useful uh, thank you <coughs>